In a world obsessed with appearances, it may come as a surprise that the truly wealthy often choose not to flaunt their riches. This intriguing paradox, ladies and gentlemen, is not a mere coincidence, but a conscious choice made by those who have amassed fortunes. Our society, saturated with media and popular culture, often paints a picture of wealth as a dazzling display of designer clothes, luxury cars and grand mansions. We are led to believe that those who have money are the ones living in opulence, constantly in the public eye, their wealth apparent in their every action and possession. However, this is a skewed perception, a societal illusion that we have been conditioned to accept as truth. The reality, as you will soon discover, is far from this. Many of the world's wealthiest individuals choose to present themselves in a way that is starkly different from the ostentatious display we've been conditioned to associate with wealth. They may drive modest cars, live in average homes, and dress in simple clothes. This, dear listeners, is the deception of wealth. But why would someone who has the means to live lavishly choose to do the opposite? This video will delve into this intriguing paradox, exploring the reasons behind this choice and what it tells us about the nature of wealth and success. Perhaps it's a calculated strategy to maintain privacy and avoid unwanted attention. Or maybe it's a reflection of their values, a testament to their understanding that wealth is more than just material possessions. Or could it be a demonstration of humility, a conscious decision to blend in rather than stand out? Each of these possibilities offers a different perspective on wealth, challenging our preconceived notions and encouraging us to rethink our understanding of what it means to be rich. So let's explore why the rich may choose to look poor and what we can learn from them. As we embark on this journey, we invite you to keep an open mind and prepare to have your perceptions of wealth turned on their head. In a consumerist society, we often mistake material possessions for wealth. A common misconception indeed, but let's delve deeper into this illusion and shed some light on the reality. You see, material possessions, the latest gadgets, luxury cars, designer outfits, they are but mere objects. They don't define wealth. They are simply the tangible items that money can buy. Yet many of us are ensnared in this illusion, believing that the accumulation of such possessions is a reflection of our wealth. The rich, on the other hand, understand this difference. They comprehend that wealth is not about the objects one can acquire, but rather about the value one can create. It's about the freedom to live life on one's own terms, the ability to make choices that align with one's passions and dreams, and the power to make a positive impact in the world. This is why the rich do not feel the need to display their wealth through material possessions. They don't seek validation through the prism of society's expectations. They are not defined by what they own, but by who they are and what they can do. They understand that wealth is not an end in itself, but a means to an end. It's not about the destination, but the journey. This is not to say that the rich don't enjoy the finer things in life. Of course they do. But they understand that these are not the measures of their wealth. They know that their true wealth lies in their experiences, their relationships, their knowledge, and their ability to influence and contribute to society. In essence, wealth is not about the size of your bank account, the brand of your car, or the label on your clothes. It is about the breadth of your mind, the depth of your experiences, and the strength of your character. It's about the impact you make and the legacy you leave behind. So remember, the next time you find yourself equating material possessions with wealth, pause and reflect. Wealth, after all, is not about what you have, but about what you can do. There's a certain power in privacy, a power the rich understand and utilize. In a world where oversharing has become the norm and every aspect of our lives is but a click away, privacy has become a luxury. It's a cocoon, a sanctuary that the wealthy retreat into, their fortress against the world. Let's dive deeper. Imagine a world where every move you make, every purchase you secure is under the watchful eyes of the public. Sounds exhausting, right? Now contrast that with a life where you can enjoy your achievements and the fruits of your labor in peace, away from prying eyes. That's the power of privacy. The wealthy understand that privacy provides security. It's a buffer that shields them from the relentless scrutiny of the public eye, from the unwanted attention of those who might covet their wealth. It's a shield that protects them from potential threats and preserves their peace of mind. 
But it's not just about security. Privacy also provides freedom, another commodity that the rich value immensely. Freedom to live their lives on their terms, to enjoy their wealth without feeling the need to justify or explain themselves to anyone. Freedom from judgment, from criticism, from the relentless pressure to keep up appearances. And how do the wealthy maintain this privacy? By not flaunting their wealth. By choosing not to parade their riches for all to see. By adopting a low-profile lifestyle, they can navigate through life without attracting undue attention. This discretion allows them to maintain their privacy and enjoy their wealth in peace. It's not about being secretive, it's about being selective. Selective about who gets a glimpse into their lives, who gets to share in their success. Because ultimately wealth is not about the display of riches, it's about the freedom and security it brings. In the end, wealth is about having options and privacy provides just that. Humility is a virtue that many of the rich not only practice, but also cherish. A profound statement, isn't it? It might seem counterintuitive, but the reality is that humility can be a catalyst for wealth building. Humility, in essence, is the ability to keep oneself grounded, to maintain a sense of reality and not let success inflate one's ego. It is the capacity to respect the value of every coin earned, every opportunity seized and every risk taken. When one embodies humility, it keeps their focus razor sharp on what truly matters. It's not the glitz and glamour, the fast cars or the high-rise penthouses that define wealth. Rather, it's the clear vision, relentless drive and the courage to tread the path less traveled. Now, you might wonder, how does choosing to look poor fit into this narrative? It's simple. By choosing to look poor, the rich are not shunning their wealth or success. Instead, they are practicing humility, reminding themselves of their roots and keeping their egos in check. This conscious choice acts as a constant reminder that their wealth does not define them, their character does. This practice of humility also serves another purpose. It helps the wealthy to connect with the world around them, to understand the struggles, dreams and aspirations of those who are still on their journey. It keeps them in touch with reality. A reality that is far from the glitz and glamour usually associated with wealth. This understanding of the world, this empathy towards others, is what fuels the wealthy to work harder, to create more, to give back more. It's this sense of responsibility that drives their wealth-building journey and keeps them grounded. Humility, therefore, is not just a virtue but a tool, a guiding light that leads the wealthy towards more success, more wealth and ultimately, a more fulfilling life. It's a lesson for us all that wealth is not just about accumulating money or possessions. It's about growing as individuals, about shaping our character, about making a difference. Wealth, in essence, is about more than just money. It's about character. There's a reason the rich are rich, and it's not just about money. It's about wisdom. In the grand tapestry of life, it's essential to remember that wealth is not solely about the glimmer of gold or the sheen of silver. We've journeyed through the deception of wealth the illusion of materialism, the power of privacy, and the value of humility. Now let's delve into the wisdom of the wealthy. The truly wealthy, those with the fortitude to amass fortunes, understand that wealth is about more than just material possessions. It's about freedom, peace of mind, and the ability to live life on one's own terms. They realize that the ostentatious display of wealth often attracts the wrong kind of attention and can even become a target for those with less noble intentions. They choose to look poor, not because they aim to deceive, but because they comprehend the true nature of wealth. It's not about the brand of your suit or the make of your car. It's about the experiences you've had, the lives you've touched, and the legacy you leave behind. The wealthy know that the most precious things in life cannot be bought. They understand that true wealth is about having the time and freedom to enjoy the things you love and the people who matter most to you. They've learned to value relationships over Rolex watches, experiences over expensive cars, and making a difference over making a show. They've mastered the art of living below their means, not because they have to, but because they choose to. They choose substance over style, wisdom over wastefulness, and purpose over pretentiousness. So we find ourselves at the end of our journey, having explored the various facets of wealth and understanding why the rich may choose to look poor. It's not about deception, but about wisdom. It's about understanding the true nature of wealth and choosing a life of substance over superficiality. 
So next time you see someone who looks poor, remember they might just be richer than you think.